from yesterday's video you guys asked me how to choke a base so today we're gonna do it I'm just gonna show you using this design so we have a 12 inch so it's 12 inches wide logo the first thing that you want to do is grab your registration mark make sure you put it at a decent distance away from your design you want to grab your design and group it okay now you grab the whole thing including the registration mark and then you make sure you center that so once it's centered we're gonna go ahead and copy paste it alright so this is gonna be a red print going on black shirts so we gotta make sure that we label which one is which so up here we're just gonna label this one red so that way we know which one is which and then over here we're gonna label this one the base all right so now what you all all you need to do at this point is you're gonna grab the logo only not the registration mark and then you're gonna add a stroke and you want to make sure that you make it on a different color besides black so for example if we're gonna make it white the printer doesn't recognize white but if you want to try something different like for example um, this pink right here and then we're gonna customize it to a 1.25 enter and I'll show you guys see how it added the stroke so it's basically not gonna print that so if we select the whole thing and then we hit file print we're gonna deselect the magenta and the process black and we're only gonna print the Pantone black which is uh, everything else except for this outline and that's how you create your 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 base if you're ever gonna drop a color um, on top of the white that way you don't have any white showing a lot of people like to do it at one point other people like to burn the same film twice and just use it as a base uh, I really I'm not a fan of that I've never had an issue with having the base choked at 1.25 except when you have a lot of details like for example on something like this because a lot of it goes away but even then uh, when you're dropping the color on top that little bit of base comes a long way so it's really whatever you're into but for those that have the question on how to choke the base that's how you do it and like I said you don't have to do pink uh, we can make that a white so obviously you're not gonna see that it's choked because the background is white but it's still there so if you select see I don't know if you can see that little line right there but that's just showing you that it's still there so if we were to turn it a different color it's gonna show up um, obviously the computer doesn't recognize white so once you select white it automatically takes it out and that's pretty much it you know I hope that this was helpful uh, I had a lot of people ask me in the past about this and I never made a video because I don't feel like I'm really good with the uh, Illustrator program. So it's kind of hard for me to explain how I do things. But I always like to create my registration mark. And then I copy paste that. Because you know you have an exact replica. And that way you can work off of that one. And when you line them up, the registration mark is exactly the same distance of, apart. That way when you line up to the registration mark, uh, everything, the whole design is going to come together. And you can also grab a registration mark, copy paste it, and then you can flip it 180 degrees, and then you'll have one right underneath as well. And it's going to help you line up the, the artwork a little bit faster. 
uh, if you just need practice with setting up multiple colors it's it's always good to have the registration mark on the top and on the bottom um, I like to use it on taller designs but on something like this I really don't need it but it's good to practice having it on there so there it is hope you guys learned something